Welcome to the enchanting town of Eldergrove, where the annual Halloween festival is about to unfold. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the town, the air buzzes with excitement. The streets are alive with laughter, and the scent of caramel apples mingles with the crispness of autumn leaves. Jack-o'-lanterns flicker like tiny beacons, illuminating the cobblestone paths that lead to the fields where scarecrows await their unveiling. Join us as we delve into a tale of creativity, fears, and the courage to face the unknown. This is chapter one of our story, and the adventure is just beginning. As the festival begins, Lila, with her curly auburn hair bouncing, feels the thrill of creativity coursing through her veins. She hurries to the gathering spot where her friends Max, Tarek, and Sophie are already assembling their scarecrows. Each scarecrow stands as a testament to their fears and hopes, a reflection of their innermost selves. Lila's artistic flair shines through her scarecrow, a vibrant figure adorned with splashes of paint and a wide-brimmed hat that seems to dance in the evening breeze. Yet, beneath the colorful exterior lies a shadowy figure, a manifestation of her fear of failure, lurking just out of sight. The scene is set for a night of revelations and challenges. Max, tall and serious, meticulously adjusts the straw in his scarecrow, which appears to be searching for something, mirroring his own fear of abandonment after losing a sibling. His brow furrows in concentration, but there's a flicker of vulnerability in his eyes, a crack in his pragmatic facade. Tarek, ever the skeptic, stands beside his glitchy creation, a scarecrow that seems to glitch in and out of reality, embodying his anxieties about technology failing him. Sophie, with her warm brown eyes and nurturing spirit, has crafted a sorrowful figure, reflecting her fear of rejection, its arms outstretched as if yearning for acceptance. Together, they unveil their creations, unaware of the darkness that lurks beneath the surface. As the festival commences, the children unveil their scarecrows, each one a proud display of their creativity and fears. The townsfolk gather, ooing and aahing at the colorful figures that dot the fields. But Lila feels a swell of pride quickly overshadowed by an unsettling feeling, a whisper of foreboding that dances at the edges of her consciousness. As night falls, the atmosphere shifts, the vibrant festival lights flicker ominously, and the laughter of children fades into an eerie silence. Strange occurrences begin to unfold. The scarecrows, once mere figures of straw, seem to twitch and sway, as if animated by an unseen force. The weight of their fears presses down upon them, and the festival takes on a darker tone. 